complete course summary. Congratulations! You have successfully finished the step-by-step -step comprehensive course on how to live your dream. Now that we have completed the course, it's time for a final review. Section 1. Introduction In Section 1, I introduce you to the importance of having a positive and uplifting dream for your life because the planet is ascending to the higher dimensions. If you align your dream life to that of the planet, then you will be able to manifest it much faster because Mother Earth will be helping you by providing energy to fuel your dream. Next, I introduced you to the importance of awakening your infinite self. The journey to awakening begins when we realize that seeking happiness in the outer world and ego satisfaction does not produce lasting results. Instead, we must look deep within to the infinite self for everlasting happiness. We ended section 1 with an article on I Am That by Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj. I hope that you find the quotes about your eternal self enlightening and inspiring. Section 2. The Way of Meditation In Section 2, I shared a simple but powerful meditation technique, the Inner Light Meditation, that will help you to raise your vibrations to connect to the infinite realm. This wonderful Meditation is the foundation for reprogramming your subconscious mind and manifesting your dream life, as explained later on in the course. There are many benefits to meditation, one of which is you will be able to raise your energetic frequency to affect your surroundings and the quality of your life. I shared the fascinating scientific research and empirical evidence supporting all of this. We ended section 2 with two guided meditations to help you to connect with your infinite self and to raise your energy to the vibration of love, the most powerful force in the universe. Section 3 Lucid Dreaming In section 3, I introduce you to the incredible world of lucid dreaming. The bulk of our lucid dreaming training consists of three phases. In phase one, we covered the core foundational exercises of keeping a dream journal, preparations for lucid dreaming, and tips to optimize your sleep. In phase two, we went over specific techniques to have lucid dreams more regularly. Finally, in phase 3, we discussed how to control and shape your dreams. As a lucid dreamer, you get to experience what it's like to be a creator of your reality. You can use the skill gained from lucid dreaming to create your dream life while living on Earth. Section 4. Brainwave Entrainment In Section 4, I discussed how brainwave entrainment technology can be used to optimize our meditation and lucid dreaming practices in the modern world. We went over the different methods of brainwave entrainment, binaural beats, monaural beats, and isochronic tones. We also explained that you can also use the ancient solfeggio frequencies to align yourself with the rhythms and tones that form the basis of the universe. By exposing yourself to the healing frequencies, you can easily achieve a greater sense of balance and higher consciousness. As a bonus to this section, you can download five high-quality mp3s of brainwave and training music for meditation, whole brain synchronization, 
lucid dreaming, all nine sulfacul frequencies, and my personal favorite, 528 hertz, the heartbeat of Earth. Section 5, Creating Your Dream Life In Section 5, I discussed the importance of the three alignments of holistic creation, aligning with your infinite self, aligning with the divine will, and aligning with Mother Earth or the consciousness of Earth. Next, we explained how you can change your frequency to change your reality. Then, we went over how you can achieve unlimited abundance doing what you love. Abundance means more than having quantities of things. It means having things that fulfill you as well. Money can be part of your abundance. We also discussed the negative money programming on the planet. We encourage you to have positive thoughts about money. It is important to have positive thoughts about money that will help it to be used as a force for good on the planet. Finally, we covered the six steps of the manifestation process to create your dream career or life's work. However, you can use this process to create any goal you want. Section 6, Live an Extraordinary Life In Section 6, I offered some definitions of an extraordinary life. When you are living your extraordinary life, you feel deep inside you are on the right path, that you are exactly where you should be, and you are doing what you were always meant to be doing. Next, I analyzed two choices that most of us take with our career path. Pursue success as your primary goal or pursue fulfillment as your primary goal. You might fit in one of the two scenarios. If you do, this will help you to see where you are now and to make the transition to where you want to be. And if you're just starting out with your career, then you will see the advantages and disadvantages of both and choose the path you're comfortable with. If you're living an extraordinary life, the journey is really the reward. Finally, at the end of section 6, I provided three extraordinary life reflections to help you identify and appreciate the extraordinary things that are already part of your life. Section 7, The Golden Age of Earth In Section 7, I explained why we are living in the most exciting and important time in the history of the planet. Planet Earth is ascending to the high dimensions. We are approaching the seventh golden age. Right now we are in the transitional period. The world is currently going through tremendous labor pains at an accelerated pace to rebirth itself at a higher level of consciousness. A new Earth is emerging. What happens on Earth affects the entire universe. It is of utmost significance to advanced civilizations that the dark ages on Earth be reconciled within the light of the Golden Age so we are able to reassume our rightful place among our universal family. We are not alone during this period of transition. The progressive changes have required and will continue to require the help of angels, ascended masters, and advanced civilizations. I offered inspiring and uplifting glimpses of the golden age on earth in the areas of education, the new business paradigm, work, communities, and life in the fifth dimension. Finally, I provided tips for how you can live at a higher frequency and have more access to the fifth dimension so that the chaos of the transition period will not affect you.